Hello, my name is Jason Miller. I'm a ServiceNow technical consultant for Disney. I currently have been with Disney for about three months as a consultant. Uh, I set up their SLAs, both contractual and non-contractual. And today what I wanted to do was go over with you one common issue I've seen in forms where I've configured an SLA, but they don't seem to be showing up in the record. So here on the screen that you're currently looking at, I've set up two SLAs. Uh, one are for the paper and supply service catalog item, and then the second one is for a catalog task that results uh, when the paper and supplies item is ordered. So if we just take a brief look at the paper and supplies definition, uh, we'll notice here the table name is SC rec item, duration is three days, Loading our list here, so we have active equals false as our stop condition, and for our start condition, it's really simple. The item is paper and supplies. When we go to the next item, we'll notice that the table is catalog task, duration is two days, our start condition is short description as assess or scope task. Um, one thing I, I would advise is that if you're going to do SLA or create an SLA against uh, a string, um, <clears throat> uh, that you make sure it's either is or starts with. Um, if you use something like um, contains or does not contain, um, just be aware that if the longer that the string field is, um, the more complicated this can get, the more stress it can put on your SLA engine. So we have our two uh, SLA definitions created, and also for the stop condition on this one, active equals false. Again, really simple conditions, and if you're setting up uh, SLA definitions, I would advise you um, that if they're very complex, to start out with the simple conditions to make sure if they fire, and then add on the additional conditions um, as you go along to um, help out with troubleshooting later on, because if you get into a situation where the SLA is definition isn't performing correctly, um, it'll be easier for you to figure out which conditions work um, and which ones do not work. So I've set up those two definitions, and I created um, a service catalog request item, paper and supplies. We'll notice down here in the task SLA list, we have paper and supplies. Um, down here in our catalog task, we'll notice that we don't have anything, even though the short description says assess or scope task. So what's the issue? Well, the issue has to deal with is that we haven't added those related lists to the actual catalog task. Um, one thing we could also do to troubleshoot before um, we add the related list would be to go to the actual task SLA table. So that would be task underscore SLA dot list. And we'll see here all our SLAs pop up. I just went descending start time. Uh, you can have your own system for doing it or have your own filter set up. And then we'll see here both of them fired. So then obviously what's missing here is the related list. So sometimes if you have some other related lists and they're populated, you might not notice that, oh, the task SLA list, related list is not there. So if we go to configure related list, this is going to show us all the related lists um, that we can go ahead and add to the form. Now, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll say, well, I want to add the SLA one, but all it has is the repair log, and they'll come back and say, well, it's not there. So we have to make sure that we're aware that it's task SLA with this little arrow here to task. We're going to move that over and now hit save. And now we'll see what happens at the bottom of the form. Task SLA will show up. And we'll see it's right here. It has a one in parens. We can see here the assessor scope task SLA is in progress. So um, if we want to go ahead and run it um, as if we're ordering the service catalog item, go ahead and do that right now. So I'll just type in paper and we'll order one of these. And I don't know, I guess one of these. I'll click order now. It'll bring up our confirmation screen. Okay, it just says thank you. I've done a good job in ordering. I'll click on the link. And this is our new RITM or RITM as some people like to refer to it. Scroll down, see our task SLA tab, uh, tab right here. 
we have our paper and supplies SLA definition, which is in progress. Now we have our tasks. And there was this task right here that we lined up that SLA against. So we'll click on that SC task. Loading our related lists. And we'll see here the SLA definition populates at the bottom here. And then if we wanted to see if the flyout, we just hover over the eye. Um, we'll click on it, um, and that will bring it up right here. Sorry, I'm using a I'm using Jakarta now, so it's a little bit different than the old behavior. The old behavior, you would just hot, hot, uh, basically hover over the eye, and then this would come up right here. I'll hit Escape, and then it disappears. So that's it for today. So just remember that you have to go to the top here, configure related lists, and you'll find your task SLA related lists in there. And this would also go for if you're ever creating a custom application and that table extends the task table, um, you'll be able to add that related list in there. Um, so that way you can actually see it at the individual record level that the actual SLA has fired. Okay, and if you have any other questions related to um, ServiceNow, any of the uh, SLA stuff, um, custom applications, whatever it is, if you have questions, um, please post them um, on this YouTube site, and uh, we'll go ahead and create some content for you. All right. Uh, have a great day.